Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this quick tutorial, we're going to have a look at how we can use rolls on the Final Cut Pro 10 timeline uh, to kind of mark up our clips and then export out different sets of tracks. So you can export out only your video, only your graphics, or only you know, different tracks of your audio. So when you're working Final Cut Pro, you'll notice most of the time that you have the kind of blue uh, clips and blue audio waveforms, uh, often down here. Um, and then when you drag on graphics, you'll notice that they're often purple. Now basically, those different colors that we see on the timeline are showing us which role is kind of assigned to that particular clip. So if we right click on this clip, you'll see that our video role here for this is titles. So um, these two titles, I just actually right clicked on them before and set them to be a video role rather than a title role. So we can change those back. So that's what that purple means that you'll normally see for graphics and generators and titles that you have on screen. So if we right click over here as well, you can see we can assign those to titles. Now normally these will be assigned as titles when we bring them down to the timeline, um, but you can also kind of change that here as well. So that's the title, which is um, an important part of this. And then we have um, our kind of audio tracks down here on the timeline. So essentially we have multiple layers here. We've got some sound effects, which are the shorter clips um, that I've got on my timeline here. And then we've got two long music tracks. So I'm gonna hold down Command to select both of these. And then I'm gonna right click here, and I'm gonna assign audio roles to this of music. And then I'm gonna select just by clicking and holding over here and dragging across all these clips. I'm going to assign by right clicking the audio roll of effects of those. So now you can see we've got this nicely colored timeline, but now we're going to have a look at how we can really kind of practically use that. So if we come up to the top right, we'll come to the share button and we're going to share this out as a master file. So when we do this, we've got a few different tabs up at the top here. So we've got our info, our settings, uh, where you can see you can have the format as video and audio. H.264, which is fine. It's going to be a bit more compressed and a bit smaller than the ProRes. And then we can go to roles and you can see here we're exporting the roles as a QuickTime movie. So basically that's wrapping it all up into that one kind of full export that we normally make from Final Cut Pro 10. But if we click here and then have a look at these options, we've got a multi-track QuickTime movie. We can export out separate files and um, we can export out video only as separate files or audio only as separate files. So actually for this, we'll export out separate files of everything. So basically we'll select this and you can see here, we've got the options to turn on and off um, different roles to remove them. Um, but basically we've got these audio tracks that are gonna export out at the bottom. And then we've got these video tracks that can export out and you can see we can modify that. And you can see we're gonna get five files um, out of that. So let's go to next here. And we're going to choose a location so we've got a folder set up here to export these tracks out to we'll just leave it as the normal project name that we've got set up and we'll hit save here and you can see if we come up to our sharing option here we're just transcoding um, all of that and once this is exported out we're going to have a look at which files we get um, from that export so now that we've exported that out we're going to jump to our folder here and you can see essentially we've got our all dialogue uh, track, we've got all our effects track and all of our music track. And then we've got our titles. Um, and if we open this up, and actually you'll see here, we don't keep the transparency from our titles there. We'd need to export them out as Apple ProRes 444 in order to keep that transparency. And then um, we've got the video and all our video in the background as well. So you can see those two tracks of video um, that we had there, the video of me up in the right corner and then the background video all in one track. So all of these are now separate. So if you need to extract your audio tracks or you wanna extract out the titles or the video without the titles, um, then this is a nice quick way of doing that in Final Cut. Now, this particular quick tutorial comes from a question I had about how we can do this, how we can kind of separate out all those dialogue effects and music tracks and then the video um, as separate tracks. Obviously, we could re-import all these back into Final Cut Pro 10, um, but hopefully this is helpful. And if you have any questions, then leave them in a comment below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.